What's up guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we got a little special thing for you guys. We're going to take a look at Guitar Fury from Sample Logic. You know we love the guys over at Sample Logic and we have a lot of their products on deal and in the shop. So we're going to take a look at their brand new product and if you have any of the other uh, guitar, cinematic guitar series or anything like that, you can get a discount cross grade price on this new library, Guitar Fury. We're going to check it out right now. All right, everyone. So let's check out Guitar Fury. Immediately, you notice this really sexy, badass looking uh, GUI here. Just this kind of like white guitar. Um, so a little bit about Guitar Fury. If you guys know the Sample Logic stuff, like the Cinematic Guitars, um, they have like Cinematic Guitars Infinity, Cinematic Guitars Organic Atmospheres, stuff like that. And those instruments are like mostly sound design oriented where you have like the four cores and we've explored those instruments in the past um, Guitar Fury is totally new uh, it's 43 gigs about a uh, pretty big library but what I really like about it it's, it's a lot more simple so you do have you know sampled guitar instruments obviously but you have you know realism as well as those kind of like sound design presets they've been you know kind of known for I, I did a couple different tracks with it so right here's kind of a rock pop type track and we're gonna check them out how you can use this instrument to make these different um, genres and how you can use it to spice up uh, anything from rock and pop to cinematic so let's check it out and then we'll go in and explore the sounds a bit there has been some really good tutorials already about like going through each of the sounds and how it works so we're gonna do more of you know a contextual um, how you can use it in a real-life scenario so let's check it out Okay, so that was just something quickly I did, and that is entirely, every single instrument besides the drums is 100% entirely from Guitar Fury. Uh, pads, leads, basses, plucks, everything. Um, so that right there kind of shows you the versatility of this product and how obviously it's, it's guitar sampled instruments, but... Um, you can get anything from piano type sounds to uh, like you know orchestral string type sounds with the, like bowed uh, have some bowed samples and stuff like that as well as basses and leads and stuff so let's go right down the line and check it out some and here I have a preset called foundation um, real quick look at the preset page this is just like matte modern animated percussion um, which is, you know, it's their newer interface, so they're moving on from the old kind of interface and like Exosphere and, and cinematic guitars, and they're doing this new one, um, just like Drum Fury Modern or Modern Anime Percussion. Um, so you can see everything's tagged nicely. Uh, so I just, you know, clicked the plucked uh, category, and I got a sound, and it sounds like that.
So there I kind of go down into base territory, and then later on I use it again as um, this little kind of plucked build up here. All that delay and everything is built in to the actual preset. So if you want to turn that off, just hit effects, click the delay right there. You can swap out effects just as easy as clicking that uh, little arrow right there. So it's it's very it's much more simple than a lot of the other sample logic stuff. So here we have another pluck right here. <laughs> So I use that pluck and combine it down here with a, a, a lead type sound. So that lead sound, it's very synthy, um, which is again really awesome because of the sound design possibilities you have here. Uh, this is what I called a bass. Which is actually just a you know a guitar playing low in in the in the um, in the range, but it's got a nice kind of twangy real guitar type sound. Now you can hear that is doubled with this right here, which I really love. So those kind of, it, it's single notes, but I created a power chord just by playing the, um, the notes right there. That has a really nice sound to it, uh, you know, a bit saturated, but pretty clean sounding. Um, so again, as I play the keys harder, it gets more of a bite to it. Um, this right here is kind of a bowed type sound, which I really love again. So it sounds kind of like, you know, what they call an Ebo, uh, which is, you know, a device that goes on the string and resonates the string and gets these really nice harmonics coming out of it. Really nice um, just for adding, you know, some ambience to it. And then we have uh, I, one of my favorite things was creating a riser with a pad. So this is kind of just a tip for anyone, even um, not even you know focusing on this specific library with any library is how to create a riser um, just by using pitch bend and the notes octaved and it sounds like this So again, this is 100% besides the drums, it's 100% Guitar Fury. And depending on how you do the drum pattern, you can make this into kind of a pop rock type song with drums like this. Now another tip uh, that is probably pretty well known, but if you want to change a sort of pop rock song to a straight up 
dance club song simply change the drum pattern to something with a four to the floor beat like this. So there you have the first little track rundown, how you can use Guitar Fury in a very nice, clean sounding pop rock electronic type song, uh, which would do very well on the radio or something like that. Now let's go on and explore something a little darker. So for the second track, I wanted to, to do something, you know, a lot darker, a lot more experimental, kind of crazy. Um, because some of these sounds are pretty unrecognizable from what you would consider from a guitar sounding library. Um, again, I used some extra percussion and also this time I added some orchestral strings to this, but every instrument down here, um, it's 90% made from Guitar Fury sounds. So let's check it out and then kind of dissect it a bit. So that was something completely different. I just wanted to do that to kind of show you how kind of crazy you can get the sounds from this library to sound. Um, this one you can see, I called it bagpipe-ish and it sounds like, you know, like an old bagpipe or hurdy-gurdy or something. And it's just, it's so experimental and strange to have these kind of sounds in a guitar library, but it's really cool. So that, I mean, sounds like that, and I just added some, you know, distortion and effects to them, um, kind of established a pulsing uh, rhythm to it. And then like I showed you in the last track, um, using the pitch bend to make a very slow rise in tension in the second half, which is really kind of, you know, Hans Zimmer type sound, um, combine that with like the massive percussion and these crazy kind of dubstep wobbles, um, which is all done with an LFO or, you know, putting a band pass, a low pass filter on it and then simply going into the automation and this is what the automation looks like for those um, for these bases here mm -hmm. 
So that's very simple to do um, with the bandpass filter, which all can be done within the instrument itself. I just threw on, you know, a third-party low-pass filter. Uh, the one included in your in your DAW is probably uh, just as good as whatever I use. So just throw that on there, modulate the um, the frequency of the low-pass filter. Uh, this one's using a sine wave to slowly have those nice rounded curves. Um, this is a, a ping down here, which is, again, just another guitar sound with the attack pushed up. You get a really nice resonant sound like this. Underneath that, you can hear the, um, the effects I'm putting on one of those pads. Another really nice thing is this kind of pitch bent. Again, using a lot of pitch bending here, um, especially with something dark, to bend it up half a tone, a half um, step, and it will sound, you know, very eerie and creepy. So I just wanted to do that quickly because you would, I mean, you would probably think that I'm using synths in this, um, especially like that really aggressive low bass and stuff like that um, with for the wobble sound, everything, again, Guitar Fury except the strings and percussion. And what I just played was 100% Guitar Fury. I had everything else muted. Um, so again, shows you the, the versatility of this instrument. You can get some really crazy badass sounds out of it. Um, just by experimenting a little, adding some effects, some low-pass filters, um, some, you know, gating or to kind of get a sidechain type effect, the pulsating type effect. There's lots of things you can do, but just wanted to show you what really kind of sounds you can coax out of this library. It's a lot of fun, um, really, it's a huge library too, so really good stuff. We love their products, I know. Uh, they've been a big hit when we do the deals and um, I have them in the shop previously. So wanted to show you guys this. Remember, you can get a cross-grade price if you own any of the uh, Cinematic Guitar Libraries, which we have in the shop. So some, you know, many of you may already own that um, stuff already. So thanks so much uh, for tuning in for this one. It's Brian with Audio Plugin Deals. Hope you guys are staying safe, stay inside, be smart, watch more tutorials. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.